Headline news most affecting Chilliwack this week. A shift in homeless shelters is on the horizon. The Paramount Project for Seniors is one step closer to reality. Chilliwack General Hospital hit by the COVID virus again. And the BC Hockey League and the Chilliwack Chiefs hold their breath as their season could be decided by the end of this week. Our special guest this week includes Allison Colthorpe of Tourism Chilliwack. All right, Chilliwack, let's get started. The province is partnering with the Phoenix Drug and Alcohol Recovery and Education Society on a proposal to provide 50 additional supportive homes as well as a 40-bed shelter for the homeless in Chilliwack. This would replace the controversial portal shelter run by Ruth and Naomi's. Its temporary use permit runs out in April, although it could be extended into the fall. Mayor Ken Popoff telling Chill TV that another component of this plan could include a sweat lodge for Indigenous healing. Construction of the building at Rowett and Trithui could start as early as this summer. Last Sunday, Fraser Health declaring COVID-19 outbreaks at Surrey Memorial Hospital and Chilliwack General Hospital after evidence of transmission at a medicine unit at each site. One patient at Surrey and five at Chilliwack General Hospital have tested positive for COVID-19. The outbreaks are limited to one unit at either hospital. The units are now temporarily closed to admissions. Chilliwack General had an outbreak at one of those units in January of this year. And while Fraser Health is always hesitant to give specifics, Chill TV has learned this outbreak was in acute care. It's been three years in the process, and the pandemic has put plenty of pauses in the way. On Tuesday, Chilliwack City Council gave the final green light for the Paramount Project. The entire process actually started back in 2018. The site where the old movie house was on Yale Road will see construction of a mixed-use, affordable rental housing development funded by BC Housing, targeting seniors and youth. Diane Jansen with Chilliwack Community Services told Chill TV that the long wait and the legal hoops to jump through was really worth it. This will be folded into the renaissance of the downtown district 1881 project. Jansen went on to say that don't expect construction anytime soon. It's hoped we could see shovels in the ground this fall, but probably won't happen until next spring. Planning for the future during a pandemic, not an easy task. That is what Tourism Chilliwack, though, is doing. The 2022 to 2027 Tourism Strategic Plan will be their guide for the next five years and will assure that they are accountable to you and your tax dollars. Executive Director Allison Colthorpe will join Chill TV to explain your part in this discussion. That interview is coming up in just a few minutes' time. Should it pass, the majority NDP government in Victoria should not have a problem with this. The pandemic-inspired freeze on rents and rent evictions should be extended to the end of the year. This started last year to ensure that while the economy was literally shutting down due to COVID, nobody would be thrown out onto the street due to rent hikes or to changes in existing buildings. Mark Straw, the Member of Parliament for Chilliwack Hope, has been given additional responsibilities in Parliament. MP Straw was elected, and this is a mouthful, the Vice Chair of the newly created Special House of Commons Committee on Canada-U.S. Economic Relations basically spending money between the two countries. In addition to his primary responsibilities as MP for Chilliwack Hope, Strahl also serves as the official opposition's shadow minister for Labour and chair of the Economic Affairs Committee of the Conservative Shadow Cabinet. And coming up after the break, our, con our conversation with Alison Colthorpe and Tourism Chilliwack. <music> Chill TV's News of the Week. I'm Don Lane, and uh, joining us, Allison Colthorpe, who is the Executive Director of Tourism Chilliwack. Allison, an interesting uh, project is now coming up, and this is a five-year strategic plan, which there will be some public input. First off, what exactly is part of this plan? What is down the road on the Christmas wish list for Tourism Chilliwack as part of this, uh, this look down the road? Well, we really take a lot of time to create this five-year strategic plan with a lot of partners, um, with city stakeholders, 
uh, with visitors, trying to ex understand exactly where is tourism going in the future? What can we do to make tourism excellent in Chilliwack? So a lot of the highlights and features are these new organizational, organizational and cultural lenses. And that's very important to who we are as an organization, but also to how we can help shape and create positive visitor experiences and resident experiences. So you'll see that we have a reconciliation plan that we're in the midst of building. We have responsible tourism, so we call it protect this gift. And this will lead us in ensuring that visitors who do come to our community, that they understand how to be uh, responsible, let's put it that way, and uh, pick up their garbage, so they'll pack in, pack out, leave no trace. Accessibility, which is you know on everybody's mind these days to make sure that everything that we do as much as possible, advocate for people that can't get around as easily as others, and to find ways that we can help support that in a tourism experience. And then, of course, diversity and inclusivity is a very, very important movement. And I also, we, we've always believed in all these things, but actually this is a tangible strategic plan that we can actually say we totally believe in this and we're going to do something about it. With this strategic plan, there always comes the uh, uncomfortable question of the budget. And is that addressed in this plan for people to take a look at? Absolutely. So the, the budget, um, we get a hotel tax. So part of the reason why we're going through this is we receive a hotel tax, um, a local hotel tax that's called MRDT, Municipal and Regional District Tax. And then on top of that, we have other funding sources to help support tourism Chilliwack initiatives. So in there, you'll see that we operate a flag shop. We, we do retail sales of our Chilliwack gear. Uh, we have visitor services and we have uh, city of, uh, fee for service agreements with the city. So all of those things complement the hotel tax, which obviously tourism was really, really hit hard with the COVID-19. It was, it really devastated a lot of our um, experiences within the province. Here locally, we were able to come back quite fast in summer 2020 when things open again, and then they started closing again. But we're expecting a, hot, a strong comeback again. So this really does affect the way we spend our dollars. So the hotel tax dollars is a really strong, significant portion of it. But all those other things I've talked about are how we come up with our budget as well. A lot of people, when they think tourism, Chilliwack, they just think Heritage Park, and that's it. Uh, you're trying to, for lack of a better term, sell downtown's District 1881, trying to sell going out to Cultus Lake or Chilliwack Lake or, or wherever. Um, are you getting any type of funding provincially specifically for tourism, or is that pretty much on hold as we're going through this pandemic? Uh, Destination BC supports all of our programs, so we put in programs, um, co-op funding they're called, and so they support any of our marketing initiatives that meets their mandates and their goals. So we do get some money every year. They provided us with extra COVID funding money so that when we can come out of COVID and start promoting our beautiful community again, we will have the funds to do so. Uh, is there anything else that we should talk about uh, with a strategic plan uh, and then get to the point where uh, you, you know, Joe Average and Josephine Average can get involved and uh, give their uh, two cents worth? Absolutely. So I think at the end of the day, I encourage everybody to read um, all 35 pages because you know it's COVID and everybody's got time to read. So I do encourage you to read it and provide feedback. Email me at colthorpe at tourismchilliwack.com and visit our website. We're always looking at ways to better improve our, our communication, our marketing efforts. And remember, the most important thing that we realized over the last few years is that we also represent residents. Residents use our website a lot. So not just the visitors who come to our community, but everything that we do touches residents and they are our community pride. So community pride is growing and we just really love to make sure we do our part to support that as well. Alison Colthorpe, the Executive Director for Tourism Chilliwack, thank you so much, and this will be the, uh, the first of many conversations we'll have. Thank you, Don. Have a great day, and you're watching you. Chill TV's News of the Week.
The fate of the 2021 Chilliwack Chiefs and BC Hockey League season could be determined by Friday. Now, the Manitoba Junior Hockey League is already shut down for the season. The Western Hockey League will have a short season. The BC Hockey League will see what Dr. Bonnie Henry has to say about extending current gathering restrictions. And if they are extended, or they're not, well, then the Board of Governors are still going to meet to decide the fate of what would be left of the hockey year. Now, the Chilliwack Chiefs have moved 20-year-old veteran forward Nicholas Cherkowski to the Calgary Canucks of the Alberta League just so he could get some playing time in before he ages out. The Health Ministry and the BC Hockey League have reviewed a proposal with either three or four hub cities to host a 20-game schedule. But again, this could all change by Friday. Minor sports in Chilliwack are still hopeful for some type of spring play. Camps for the Chilliwack Cougars minor baseball, Mustangs minor lacrosse, and Giants Pee Wee and junior bantam football camps are all still a go. Meanwhile, Chilliwack FC Soccer recently held their AGM. Andrea Laycock was re-elected as chair and secretary. Chill TV weather, it is early spring rain and the highs near 10. And by the way, just over a week from now, the time change. If you'd like to participate in reporting news in Chilliwack and you have a story you think we should know about, send us a note to news at chilltv.ca. We'd love to hear from you. That's the news this week. I'm Don Lane.